way that this uh, software looks at your TV, it starts in this corner. So we'll start with the LEDs here. We'll go over there, down, back, and up. Okay. Okay. Corner we'll start just... with, yeah, do you have, you're going to need some scissors. Get a pair of scissors. Oh, yeah, I'll go grab some. And I think we should stop right there. Okay, when you get to the corner, you just cut it like that. And then, sometimes you have to manipulate these a little. What do you, what do you need though? What do you need? Uh, well, we'll see if, the, if it makes a good connection or not. Okay. There. If it doesn't make a good connection. Is that like a little clamp almost where you slide yep. it under and it actually, okay. Yeah, so you slide this under and this little tab should make contact with the little copper bit on the strip there. And that should do. You're a soldering guy, so you could solder these if, if these aren't working out too well. But a lot of people don't want to solder, so they'll using these little clips. It was just so like that, and then it's funny that the spacing just seems a little bit off on these because this is exactly what these are supposed to work for. Mm -hmm. But if you can't get them to go on there like that, then you you can pry up those little tabs a little bit. As far as that wire sometimes isn't thick enough, you go to push it in and they kind of... Yeah. Okay, we might have to double-sided sticky tape that a little bit. Oh, I'll go grab some butter in it. Okay, that is one way to do it. And then we're gonna come down here. Why are you doing that? Why? Yes. To make it so cool. <laughs> you just see him as a blur running by. <laughs> And you're, <laughs> they're making our TV awesome, he said. <laughs> He's like, what are you guys doing? What we were doing on, uh, to the TV. <laughs> I just said, we're making it awesome, and that was good enough. <laughs> That's all he had to know. Oh, I should have wore my shirt like that. It I, wore, I wore mine the last three days, so. Oh. <laughs> With a lot of this isolation, I find I get a lot more usage out of my, my clothes than I ever thought possible. <laughs> So dumb that that's the thing that hangs you up, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, got all this technical equipment here, and this little plastic tab is. And held hostage by this. <laughs> held hostage by this little freaking ta plastic tab. Okay, let's open that. I did take the TV down yesterday as I was kind of cleaning and finishing up routing those things, and there was a lot of questions. Why is the TV down? <laughs> How long is it going to be down for? I'm like, don't worry about it. I'm doing. Oh, you're bringing your little your little group. I want to him. You want Justin to see him? What do you got? This is a little baby Groot. Oh, baby Groot. <laughs> so I am kind of going up a little bit on this just because of the way it worked out. Oh, yeah, yeah, clip that's, it. that's just fine. So then let's just leave this tape on the back so you don't just end up with a bunch of sticky goo. <laughs> sticky goo. Sticky goo. <laughs> So, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 21. This battery is low too. Perfect. Is it really? Yeah. That's okay. We have two low batteries that makes it one, one? A half charge battery. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got 38 LEDs across the top. 21 LEDs down here. We put in these things instead of soldering the corners. You can solder the corners if you want. You can try and pinch and bend. You know, you can make a, make a bend in the LEDs. If you get to a corner, you can kind of make a bend like that. So I've done that too. And that's, that's a legitimate way to do it, it's fine. So anyways, options, got lots of options. So next thing we gotta do is connect up the Raspberry Pi to this and the power supply. So let's get it. <laughs> You don't have hair. What? Where'd my hair go? You took it. Do you have my hair? 
What I've done is take, I took this connector, which is the same as the end of the LEDs, this thing here, and just spliced it in here so that we could put it some distance away. But we don't have to put it that distance away. Okay. Um, but since we have it, let's just leave it, right? Sure. You can just bundle that up, it'll be fine. This end, you just plug into the LEDs. Okay, uh, look at this. This is genius right here. So the issue is this thing takes two and a half amps and this LEDs, with all these LEDs you have here, you're probably at at least four amps of LEDs. Okay. So you need like a six amp power supply or you have to have two different power supplies. And since you need to share a ground between the this and, and the LEDs, the LEDs, both LEDs need a common ground, right? Yeah, so then if you have two power supplies, you can combine the grounds, but an electrical person would say that's a bad idea. So better to just use one power supply. So the way to use one power supply is to get a big power supply uh, that'll connect to a barrel connector like this. And then you use this, which is just a, a cut cable. It's a USB, a micro USB cable that I cut, right? Oh, okay. So I cut the micro USB cable and now I can power the Pi through the way the Pi is supposed to be powered. The other thing is, if you power a Pi this way, it's got a fuse and it's got a voltage regulator here. You can power it with the pins yeah, here. from the GPIO pins. But then there's no fuse and there's no voltage regulator. So if you have a bad power supply, you can destroy your Pi. So better to use this, uh, and this is certainly an easy way to do it. You just, everybody's got a hundred of these around the house. Just cut one of those, you're in business. Okay, and then this guy is what will put the output to the lights. So it goes to GPIO 18. I've done this enough times now that I have it memorized where it is. It's the sixth pin in on this back row. So you go in one, two, three, four, five, and it's number six right there. And that's it. That's all you need connected to the Pi. Perfect. And I thought that if you got too far away, you'd get all that flickering. The stuff that, yeah, we've interacted with, right? So I even brought a voltage, a, a logic level shifter. But when I tested it on mine, it just, it didn't die. Like the signal was fine all this length. So go figure, I don't know. Anyways, um, all right, so now we just need to mount the Pi somewhere here. You're just putting double-sided tape on that? I'm just putting double-sided tape on the back of this, and then I'm just gonna stick this right here. Daddy. Uh, okay. Gotta help us here in a minute when we put this. So there's the Pi. It's running, we gotta watch some cool Now, things, okay? this guy, the output from here, is gonna go to one of your inputs over there. Okay, okay, so we'll need an HDMI cable to go from here to there. Okay. Uh, we'll power this thing, actually, from the from the Raspberry Pi. Ah, just perfect, USB power for it. Yep, so you just USB power, no problem, right there. And then oh, this, the, there's an output here, USB output, and that USB output goes to the Raspberry Pi. And that's how this thing converts the signal that you put into it to something that the Raspberry Pi can understand and it goes into the Hyperion software and that's what tells the LEDs what to do. Gotcha. So essentially the video that you that you output to the TV is passed through. Yes. But it captures it and also says, hey, I'm gonna send the same thing to the Pi to also know what's coming through in the pass through. Okay. That's right. That's exactly right. Now we need the output from here to there and we need the input here. So so, I'm such a smooth filmer. Such a smooth filmer. It's not jumpy at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's in the way. You see that? <laughs> yeah, I see that. It can't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's fire stick. Oh no, from a... Uh, <laughs> it's too big. Is there a problem? What's the problem? <laughs> I don't see a problem. What? And then actually, I have oh, a... Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's it. Oh, yes. I think that actually came, it came with, with it. It came with it, and yeah. it's for that reason. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I know I've seen one. <laughs> now we got it. That's the way it's supposed to be. Did you have anything else plugged in before? Uh, no. But we change the inputs a lot too. We'll end up figuring yeah. out where the switch will end up going, and then we have an 
another one for when we do like an iOS device on it. Okay. So did you just peel that that way? Yeah, I just, you take that green backing off. It doesn't come oh, off super okay. easy. Oh, okay, so but this tab doesn't come off. I was no, peeling no, off no. this whole thing. And I think the intent that, you know how all the 3M stuff, when you when you elastically deform these, they lose all their stickiness. That's how these work on the wall. I don't know if you've ever seen that. So when you, <sighs> you know how many, I've yanked the paint <laughs> off the wall. <laughs> yeah, when you pull them like this, all that all that what? elastic deformation just makes them, it's there's no stickiness nice. to them and they, and they go away. So that's why when you just pull them oh. down, like, they come right off. I had no idea. Like I didn't want to push real hard on the TV. There we go. Yeah. The other one, bud? Yeah. You can put two more. Okay. Make a little chain for you. Okay, we got it. Let's just run through everything. We got the LEDs on. LEDs. We got wires from the LEDs to the Pi. They're getting power right here. This is where we're going to connect the power supply. And they're getting a data signal right here. Uh, the Pi is getting power. We've got power to the HDMI capture. We've got the HDMI input. Oh, we're going to need to power that. We've got to remember not to, to reconnect the power to this thing. And then we've got the output to here and the output to here. We're golden, man. We're ready to hang this thing back up. Sweet. Let's do it. Ready to put it up, bud? Okay, so you see that little. Oh, you know what we should do there? before we hang it? What you thinking? We should make sure that the LEDs work. We can just we can just put it on. Okay, let's it's, put it on. It's, it's not a lot. It just we don't have to secure it in. It's just kind of like how oh, I okay. had it. So then then there's a screw on this side and a screw on this side to actually fix it to okay. this plate. So for now I kind of I, I left it that way for easy. All right. Easy. So now let's reconnect everything. Okay. Okay, now you got to go to your router and find that Raspberry Pi. It should be connecting to your internet. Okay, to the Wi Fi. Right go, go check on some wires real quick back there. Just lean in. Of course. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> it's working! Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. And the reason it's not working is because I told it it was 100 LEDs and there's more than 100. There's more than 100 LEDs. Right. Yeah, but there's yeah. lights. Okay. Yay. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, go to your router and you should find something called Raspberry Pi. Zoom in. A couple things you're going to want to do. First, we're going to need to go to configuration and then LED hardware. Uh, we've got to tell it that. And right. we've got to tell it the max. So the number of LEDs, go to layout first and then we'll figure out what the number is. So you said it was 38. Okay. Which means we're going to have 38 there. And then here we had 21. Oops. Not 521. Okay, and that's it. Save layout. Okay. And then go back to the controller and now add those all up. Fine. Good thing you got your helmet protection from all that blunt head trauma. 119 LEDs. How about now? Oh. Now they're yeah, on. Yeah, it looks like it. Now they're on. I can't about those What did you end up doing? I, so I had to turn I turned it off and turned it back on. So in here, <laughs> this panel over here where it says remote control, that's where you're gonna turn these on and off. This is a boot effect, so when it boots up, it'll do this effect. If you don't want it to do that, you unclick that and turn it off. Gotcha, but that, that's kind of like a, a visual signal that, hey, I'm on, mm -hmm. connected, okay. This is a background effect, so if there is nothing coming in as an input, th it will display this effect. Oh, if you okay. don't want it to do that, then you turn that off. I yep. really want to yep. watch a show. Watch you really want to watch a show? Exactly. I think we're ready to watch a show. Okay, let's... Oh, here we go, here we go. If you go live video... That's what it's so, that's what it's showing. That's <laughs> it's what's showing up, sneaky, and that's why it keeps cycling the the brownish red right there is because it's that dude's Malcolm shirt. In the middle. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's awesome. Okay. If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord.
If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.